All right, guys, so there is a ton of crazy stuff going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online, and a lot of people have also been asking me, you know, where is the Halloween content? It's Tuesday. It should be a new event week. Why is the Halloween content not in the game? Well, Rockstar have actually updated their newswire today, and they have answered all of that questions and so much more, and uh, we've got a ton of information to talk about today. So, like I said, I'll leave a link to the newswire in the description, but let's not waste any more time, and let's get it started. So, let's Let's talk about the Halloween content first because obviously that's what people are probably the most hyped about and the most excited about. And the new Halloween content is going to be coming out this Friday, October 28th. So Rockstar states coming this Friday, October 28th, the new Sanctus motorcycle, Lost versus Damned, Adversary Mode, and much more. So they state the Sanctus is a dread-inducing piece of machinery guaranteed to strike fear into passerbyers on your next midnight ride. Also, the new Lost versus Damned mode is a classic battle between the forces of good and evil as hordes of devils and hosts of angels battle it out for the right to rule. Complicating the conflict will be a day-night cycle that switches every 60 seconds with nighttime benefiting the devils and daytime rewarding the angels with increased armor, health, and superior weapon loadouts during each team's prime time. So that game mode sounds awesome and it's likely where we're going to see the new Halloween weather as well, which is going to be cool, but unfortunately means it will likely not be in free mode. So that is kind of sad right there, but that adversary mode actually sounds awesome. So I'm so excited to check that out. Rockstar also states that classic Grand Theft Auto Online Halloween vehicles and items will be returning along with some special event week bonuses that we'll have more info on coming this Friday. So that's really cool. The two previous Halloween vehicles in the Lurcher and the Frankenstein are going to be available, as well as all the other content like the clothing, masks, face paint, and a whole lot more from 2015 are all going to be returning, as well as, like they said, some cool bonuses that will be happening too. So essentially, to summarize what's going to be happening this Friday, we're going to be getting one new motorcycle, the Sanctus, one new adversary mode, Lost in the Dam, and all the content that's going to be returning from 2015, as well as a couple cool bonuses. So that's going to be very awesome. You guys know that I'll be doing a, a live stream as soon as the content is released. I'll also be covering all the other content and we'll be having lots of fun basically with the new Halloween stuff. That's going to be coming shortly into Grand Theft Auto Online this Friday. So I'm very, very excited about that. However, there is some new content that is available right now and that you don't actually have to wait till Friday to unlock. The first of which is the new Pegasi Vortex motorcycle. So Rockstar describes this bike as cafe racer tradition meets contemporary street fighter chic. So that's pretty cool. Obviously the Vortex is pretty awesome and uh, I, you've seen me do customization videos on it. It's basically the alien bike. It's got really, really cool like, customization that you don't see on really any other vehicle in the game. So it's available to purchase today from the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site, which is going to be really, really awesome. However, probably the biggest part of this update is actually the bonuses that Rockstar are going to be providing. So there's a very interesting bonus. Rockstar are celebrating three years of GTA Online. And because it's three years of Grand Theft Auto Online, they're doing a ton of cool stuff. First of which, they're giving away $250,000 for free, plus 30 percent off select items from cunning stunts, ill-gotten gains, lowriders, and more. So they state, to commemorate three years of Grand Theft Auto Online, we're awarding anyone that logs into PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC from today through the end of the day on Monday, October 31st, with a special gift of $250,000 of in-game GTA cash, which will be deposited into your Maze Bank account by November 4th. That's awesome! Rockstar are giving away free money, and that's really cool because they removed a bunch of people's illegitimate and modded money today. So at least if you had all your money removed, by logging on today, you'll be getting free money for everyone. That's right. This isn't like a special exclusive offer to only a limited amount of people. You know, you don't have to buy anything to get this money. It's literally free money that Rockstar giving away, which is so awesome. And obviously you've got till now till really next Monday, which is Halloween in order to log in. So hopefully you see this video by then. And then on November 4th, you will be getting the free $250,000, which is awesome. Now Rockstar also state that there is going to be 30% off a variety of vehicles, weapons, and more with fan favorite items representing Grand Theft Auto Online content updates since November's 2013 Beach Bum update. And what's great about
about all of this is everything I'm about to list, Rockstar have temporarily rescinded all rank and completion requirements for everything that you can unlock. So you can take full, unadulterated advantage of these limited time discounts now through Monday, November 7th. So what's great about this is some of the items that we're gonna talk about, like the Liberator monster truck that's typically locked is now going to be available. And also like the Dubsta 6x6. We'll touch on them right now. So these are the anniversary specials going on from now until November 7th, 2016. So you can see the Pegasi Speeder from the Beach Bum update is one of those cars. The Albany Roosevelt Valor from the Valentine's Day update. Uh, you've got the Grati Turismo R from the business update. The Pegasi Zintorno from the High Life update. The Dumpster 6x6 and some various outfits from the I Am Not A Hipster update. And that's pretty cool because you typically had to be a level 100 to unlock that vehicle. We've got the Liberator Monster Truck from the Independence Day Special. The Bezra Jet from the Flight School update the Ferrari GT sports car, plus the heavy shotgun and marksman rifle from the last team standing update, the Valkyrie from Heist, the Luxor Deluxe, which you still should not buy from Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, the Progen T20, which you should buy from Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2, the Declasse Voodoo Upgrade and Tattoos from Lowriders, the Aquarius Yacht from Executives and Other Criminals, that's crazy, 30% off, the Bravado Banshee from the Drop Zone update, the Custom Dock and Tattoos from Lowriders Customs Classics, the X8 Proto and outfits from Further Adventures in Finance and Felony, the Anis RE7B from Cunning Stunts, and the Hakachu Drag Bike from Bikers. So those are all the discounts right there, which is pretty insane if I do say so myself. So that is absolutely incredible. Rockstar are giving away some unbelievable discounts. Like I said, 30% off all of those vehicles. And there's some pretty expensive vehicles on there. The Valkyrie, very expensive. The Bezra, pretty expensive as well. Progen T20, obviously one of the more expensive supercars in the game. X80 Proto and this RE7B. So lots of amazing discounts here. If you need Need some vehicles this is the time to get some of the best ones that have been released in grand theft auto online over the last three years so that is awesome i don't think rockstar have ever done anything like that in grand theft auto online so that is so cool you must take advantage of these opportunities while they're here i'm sure many of you guys are going to be buying some of those vehicles now the only other thing that rockstar touched on is a new premium race which is called nightlife and that is happening from october 25th through the 31st, and that is, like I said, going to be locked to motorcycles. You get triple RP, and a nice payout awaits those who finish in the top three. So this was kind of a confusing week, because like I've said, we've got the Vortex to kind of hold us over till Friday. Then on Friday is when we get all of the Halloween content, and it looks like the Halloween content is going to be lasting through November 7th. So I'm not sure if it's going to be disappearing on November 7th, like if the Sanctus is going to go away, just like the other vehicles from 2015 and the other content, but that would be my best guess. I'm going to assume that Rockstar is obviously going to release the content on Friday, and then come November 7th, they're just going to remove it from the game. So November 7th is a Monday, so you've basically got about 10 or so days to enjoy this Halloween content before it is likely gone until maybe 2017 if it ever does make a return. Now, I will imagine that the Lost vs. Damn adversary mode will stay forever, but the motorcycle, the face paints, all the stuff from 2015 will likely be going away very similarly to how the content from 2015 went away as well. So I'd imagine this would be a timed update, but like I said, I'm very, very excited for this and those discounts as well and the free money too, which is insane. And I think it's ironic that it just comes like right after Rockstar removed a bunch of people's modded money. They're like, we're taking away all this money, but we're going to give you $250,000 for free. So that's kind of cool. So like I said, let me know what you think about the next two weeks or so in Grand Theft Auto Online, because that's how long this event week is essentially going to be going on. Uh, it's starting today with obviously the Vortex and then ending on the 7th when the Halloween content is going to be going away. So this is all the content we're going to be getting really for the next two weeks. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and so much more about it in the comments section down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I should have one or two more GTA 5 videos out today and we're also going to be doing a very, very fun live stream with the new content that was added. So we're going to be doing some fun with the Vortex as well as all the vehicles that were discounted a little bit later on today. So if you are excited about checking that out, 
just be sure to uh, check out my channel in a little bit later. And I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter as well when I'm going to be starting the show and whatnot. But of course, with all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.